Hello everyone, welcome back to Minsk and uh, come back to our adventures in Sweet Transit. We actually just hit a milestone for our laborers here, which is really good because my plan for today was to start working on the stoneworks and getting ourselves some queries up and running. So I thought we were going to have to start this episode with adding some more workers, but it looks like it's still going up. So it doesn't look like we're going to have to do that. Which is nice. I like that. I do like that. So, we are going to work with the stoneworks, so we are also going to need the quarries. And what we are going to do is we're going to need to build stoneworks somewhere, but we don't want it close to the city, because that will just have a negative impact on the city. So, I think in the interest of my own sanity. I'm, I'm gonna go with it right here, I think. And I like mine to be five tiles long. There's probably a better way to do it, but I like that idea. So that's what we are going to do. Uh, and then we're gonna have enough space right here so we can put a... a... Um... Why is it so hard to talk sometimes? <laughs> Market. <laughs> So these are gonna go there. That should be pretty good. And we can see that these guys need a storage. So we're gonna place down a storage so they can do something with that. I guess we can go with storage and then have the market on the other side. That could be an option. Uh, and you're just gonna go here. And now they are complaining because they don't have any workers. So that's our next next thing to deal with. And I think we have the small stations now, do we not? Ah, it looks like we don't. When do we unlock those? That's a worship. A lot of blueprint. When do we un unlock the new station? I would like to know. Global. Mm, no. 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 That's when we do that. Okay. So we need to build a query and then produce stone and from there we can set up rails to delivered to here. That will probably be pretty good. So I'm gonna have rails going right here. And then they are going to go like that. And we're actually gonna keep them on... Right, these cannot do the same tight turns as normal road can. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit clever with that, but I think that's fine. Uh, let's have you go down towards the water here then instead. Get rid of that and then have him go straight through there. And then I want him to go... Uh, we can redraw this route eventually, that's fine. So if we do this, we can have him go... Do I want him to go there? Probably don't want him to go there, actually. Let's have him go on the road instead. We won't have that many trains traveling, so... That should be pretty fine. And then he's gonna go back down here. to that. That should be pretty good. And they should be able to traverse anyway as long as there isn't a train actively on the road, so it shouldn't impact transportation too much. I do believe. And then we should have a couple of shacks. Just like here or something. And that will be you to there. It should be pretty good. 
That should be pretty good. So, anything else for us to do right now? I don't think so. I think that's kind of it. We do this just to have a another route for them as well. And then the same right here. Just have a way for them to skip, skip this unless they need to go there. That will be pretty good. And then we need... So that is the stoneworks. Then we're going to need the quarry as well. As we move away from the city, you can see that the automatic stuff is shuffling. So it's moving more of the global stuff up front. You can also filter them, of course, in the different tabs. But I like the auto-filtering in a lot of cases. In the beginning of the game, it's a little bit confusing because you don't have too much to fill up with. Uh, but by now, you kind of see relevant stuff on the, on the auto list. Most of the time. So, we have stuff to do here. Is there anywhere else where we can place this? Just there. Here we have a little bit... That's actually a really good place. You know what? We could place that here. Uh, we only have one coal mine here. If I do that... We should be able to connect that and have you... Uh, open up your... route. Let's have this guy go back to the... And to train depot. This is so confusing because it doesn't update that it's going to the train depot, even though that's where it's actually actually going. Uh, and then this guy is going to need a few more things as well, so we're gonna send him to the depot too. This time it did update. Last time it didn't, so it's a little bit inconsistent, I guess. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this intersection, actually. It works. We're gonna improve it once we get the bridges from the stone, though. That's the main reason as to why I want to have stone right now. Main reason for now. Got ourselves some requirement signals as well. I don't make too much use of that. I know they can be really good. I'm not arguing with that. So we want to have this guy and... Let's maybe try to do 200. That should be pretty good. He should just be stopping there. Waiting for this train to leave. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So that should be the majority of what we need. I just need this guy to go back into the depot. And we can actually have you guys just go straight there. That one and this one. And then you question me, why are you putting it there? How are you going to get there? I'll show you. Slow down. We're get, we'll get there. Okay. See, we do have bridges in this game, you see? So we can build a bridge right here if we had a little bit more... A little bit more space. We cannot build a bridge above signals, so that's why we weren't able to do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to have a road going in between those two. You don't actually need to connect the road to the front of the, the uh, stairway. You can just connect it on the side. And that still counts as actually connected. So those... We actually are going to need way more people than what we have here. And we have a lot more... A lot more workers than what we need as well. Let's do that instead. Can delete that and then we can fill this with 
something else if we need to. Can I, can I copy you and then just paste these instead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Then let's go to the train depot and let's add... I think it's Gondola for stone as well. Yeah. It is. Uh, I don't want you there, though. I want you there and I want... Let's just fill all of them up then. Technically too long. Sell that one. And then we are going to have to... Force some of these to... Don't remember how to do that though. Um, see, maybe I need to send you out and then query load. Ah, it's right here. I do believe. Yeah. So you click on it and then you go here. Unlocked train stop. Very good. And I think lock goods. Coal. Lock goods. Coal. That should be pretty good. Why? Why? Ah, okay. Never mind. That's all good. So yeah, you can see that it didn't actually fill up all of them. But hopefully we can either add another train. Or we can have that train go quick enough that we don't need to increase the size of the train for now at least. That would be very nice. Alright, so now that we unlocked a few new stuff, we actually have a possibility to build these train stops, which is very, very handy. We are definitely going to make good use out of those. And I do believe I would like to have that maybe right here. Because that kind of allows us to reach the majority of all, all places. Or maybe, no, I probably want it right here to be honest. Yeah, something like that. And then have... Uh, unfortunately, we build this so close. Let's get rid of those. And let's see if I go with you. We can do this. And then we can get rid of that one. That should be pretty good. So that's one of the mil milk stations but minsk stations <laughs> uh, and these are going to go something like maybe i should just make small short trains what about it what if i do that and we'll just run four tile trains everywhere i think that could be kind of interesting tiles. They will be very quick doing that. Which I think is good. So let's try that out. That should be that should be interesting. We do need to have a way to get trains onto this though. So we're gonna need another depot actually. Which I don't think we can build because we don't have any bricks, right? So instead what we're gonna have to do is to have them uh, be able to leave right here. And connect to that. Same thing right here. They're gonna have to be able to... Mm, let's see. We kind of want you to be able to be there. Yeah, I think we can go right here. And then... Connect him to, I guess, right there. That should be pretty good. That should be a signal right there. And these do not need to be very big, so let's do four tiles in between each. I think we eventually probably are going to have to expand these. But I like the idea of starting with very small, small trains. I haven't built very much with, with tiny trains. I very quickly just default to two very large trains. 
And that's not always the best way to do it, or even the most fun way to do it. So, try some new stuff every now and then. I think that's healthy. I think that's healthy. So let's do that. I think that's all of the signals that we need. And now we're going to need a train, and it will go from Minsk. Nope. Uh, there will be a new one. It will go from Minsk to Minsk 3 to Stoneworks and then back. And that should be for this time at least. I don't think it's going to be like this forever. We're probably going to have a specific one go up to the Stoneworks, a specific, specific one going to Minsk 3, uh, and then have them be able to ship between a little bit more. I think that sound, sounds like a pretty good idea. But for now, let's do this. We also unlocked this TT-10. Uh, it's more or less a steam locomotive uh, that is filled, like driven by coal. <laughs> so, uh, more or less a normal steam locomotive. It's just a cabin and a train in one. So, if we add one of these, we can have four of them. Oh, I'm, I'm losing money like crazy. Why is that? What am I losing money on? I think it's all of these. Uh, what if I pass you? Yeah, it's all of these. I just need to get them... Get them working. That's fine. Because, yeah, I want four of these. Four tile trains, please. And this is going to be another blue one. That should be pretty good. How much money are we making? Almost nothing. Can we sell some wood? Mm. I kind of need way more money than I have in wood. No. You're on there. And these cost, yeah, five grand. I do make enough wood though. I have I have plenty of wood. There we go. And then we'll get one more onto there. And if we send him out, he should find his way over to here. And there we have him, our little guy. So he should be able to get everyone working, if I'm not mistaken. That should get get them all going. What we do need, that I forgot, is we need someone to carry stone from here up to this place. So this guy is going to need to have some storage for stone as well. Potentially we could have two of them and add stone to one of them. That could also be a decent idea. Yeah, how's this looking? Our upkeep is going up, but we're producing enough wood for now that we should be fine. We should be fine. Let's get... Maybe one more, if we could have 500 bucks. Wait, are you outputting all of your stuff to there? Why? And why are you not doing anything? You're doing the same. So we don't have anyone putting anything into the actual warehouse? Did I do that? Surely not. Interesting. I guess that's fine. We could sell some coal if we had some. That was my only, my only thought. So let's go... I kind of feel like if you push this one, it should fill this ring instantly and keep the wood panel open that would be would be a great way of doing it so let's do that let's put you into there uh, i don't want you to do anything other than coal and i want you to protect like 25 percent yeah we're running low on money now that's definitely a thing uh how is this looking If we could make a little bit of money, that would mean that we can place down some houses. Uh, right now we're not making that much.
Mm, maybe I can remove you. Place one. One of those right here instead. And then have you do that. Add a filter for coal. And we protect 25% of it. That should be pretty good. What we could do actually is to put potatoes and we can say protect 100%. That is more or less the same as saying don't take any potatoes. And then we can do the same so we can say fish. Don't take anything. We can say... Eh, I don't have anything else that I wouldn't want to bring out of there. Maybe stone could be one of them, but... Yeah, I don't think that's super necessary. Uh, you guys, can we have a few of you go here and actually work? How would that go? One would wonder. Okay, so this guy is running out of coal. That is understandable. I wonder what we should do about that. Maybe we should place a station right here. And just have that for like refueling. For now. I think that could be a fairly decent idea. Uh, Yeah. We just need one of these guys to go deliver to here as well. Yeah, we're just not making very much money at the moment. And part of that is because we are unable to build any houses. So I'm actually going to go up here and I'm going to disconnect a few more of these. Just so we get some money in because they're 250 each and we don't need that many. Uh, this was way overkill, just to be clear. <laughs> that was way overkill. Mm, so we're going to move these. What if I get rid of you? And we'll place them over here. How would that be? You should be getting fish, right? From here, yes. Wow, road is really expensive as well. Look at that. Alright. So that should at least fill up all of this. So now we should be seeing... Where's all of our workers? Yeah, that should be pretty good. This guy is running really slowly, but he will be getting to here very, very shortly. Uh, we do need a lot more workers. That is for sure. So let's maybe get another house in here. So yeah, we are building up a little bit of work here. It's just too slow because we're running out of coal all the time. But that should be improving once we get you to go here as well. And so you should go to this guy as well. After the stone works. And you really just have to visit right there. That should be perfectly fine. So, Minsk 4, yes. And then we go to Minsk 2 afterwards. Or Minsk 1. Yeah, Minsk 2. That'll be pretty good. Pretty good. So he will just stop here to get some fuel. That should be all he does. No? Why didn't you get any fuel? Now I'm really confused. Why did he not get any fuel? That's interesting. I wonder why that is. And we actually have one too much. Hold on, are you stopping? Before the station for any reason? What if I do that? Do you actually continue straight through them? Let's see, a little bit of trial and error here for a bit. I find a lot of this game is just kind of testing stuff and seeing what works. 
Sometimes you find something that does work, and other times you find something that absolutely doesn't. Yeah, I think we needed actually five tile stations, so let's go with that instead. Let's go with that instead. Because they are not actually loading like they should. That's my issue. Because now he should be getting all of the... Yeah, now they're all, they're all on there. We got some tired workers here, and these guys are technically working. Technically working, just like me. Technically working. So to there. And then we're gonna have you. I have these. And that should be pretty good. Where do we have a watchtower? We have a watchtower right here. Should be alright. You do have food and all that, so that's not an issue. Uh, this guy do have everything that we need. And I think if we look at... Yeah, that's interesting. Why can I not open the grabs? This is new. I found a bug. <laughs> so... I wanted to check, not the wealth, but like the general production itself. Oh, this is really good. A complete breakdown of your expenses. So yeah, here you can see that the queros are really expensive. Uh, also the stoneworks actually is not too cheap. Neighbors residence, markets, gives the stuff back. Uh, if you're looking at Minsk. Okay, how do I get actual data on, for example, this? I just have to hover over it. Destination stamps, increase warehouse build range, increase element build range, increase production facility build range. Uh, I think I would like to go with the settlement. I think that makes that makes sense. We have the query built. We have the stone per minute done. Global stats 173 on route zero capacity 200. That's not global stats, right? 20 per minute. That would mean that one of them is not working, which is true because it's full. That's because this guy is full. And that's because this guy is full. So we kind of just have everything we need. Our production is well within what we would expect. It's really good. Which is really good. So let's continue expanding these. Just need more and more houses. That is going to be an endless need. Uh, we're really low on money again. Actually low on money again. How is this looking? Are you actually getting what you need? Oh, you need water as well? Well, forgive me. I didn't know that. That should... I guess we only got 4 out of 5. It's unfortunate. And it looks like the issue that was right here has been solved. So now we should be having all for this guy when he passes by. And he's using just 50% when he's doing this, so... That should be just fine. And then we need the stone up to here, which is something that we should probably have one of you do. And you're gonna take from here, and you are going to input here. With filter on stone. That should be pretty good. So that's the warehouse where we eventually should have stone. Why are we not getting any stone? 
Are you just bringing... Yeah, you're just doing coal over and over again. Yeah, that's not great. And I wanted you to... Do some stone as well. You know? That was kind of my idea. So let's do that. It doesn't load super fast, but I guess it doesn't have to either. It's at least really cool to see all of these people actually working now. Seeing them, them walking back and forth, as opposed to how it worked before, where everything just teleported. It's really nice. We are almost full, so we'll be leaving in a minute now. And then that will be brought up to Minsk. Where it should be... Uh, let's see, it should be dumped by this, no, this guy into the warehouse. Sand, a loose granular material composed of finely divided mineral particles that can be used for concrete, decoration roads, and bodies of water. Interesting, so that's how we fill in water tiles then, I'm, I'm imagining. Uh, I wonder if, how we get sand. I actually haven't really followed up too much on this update. I kind of wanted to go in fresh, but uh, so far that's kind of working, I guess. Uh, I would like you to be offset a little bit. Are we running out of... No. Uh, are we running out of wood? We are very close. We are very close to doing that. So, what if I get you and we'll get another one down here? And then do... Do more of the same. Okay. Uh, we could have an input from... You know, here. Input... Output. Input. Output. Yes. Very good. Very good. And then we'll have you guys continue up here as well. Makes that a little bit easier to get to. Then they shouldn't have to go all the way around. They can just sneak down this way. And... Can't have a road there. That is kind of annoying. Wish that wasn't a thing. Oh well. I have to go up here, but I guess that's fine. Is it considered ugly to be living around this thing? I would imagine that's the case. But maybe not. It's supposed to be desirability, and people are not complaining about living around there stone itself. What about this? Yeah, this is not very desirable. Which makes sense. Same thing with potatoes, actually. I would think potatoes would be more friendly to live around compared to forestry, right? And especially stoneworks. That has to be insanely loud. I'm not sure I would like to live in Anything even remotely close to stoneworks. Hold on, can I not... I don't think the warehouse can hold stone. Right, so... That means that this guy should not actually go from there, he should go from here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's correct. And then we probably want a few more people working here. Let's give us 15, maybe. Triple the amount. So what are these doing when the train is coming? Yeah, everyone is just stepping aside for a second. So they're, they're not even going aside for a long time. He just got to run over. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, that just happened. Dark times ahead. 
dark times ahead, but that should actually get us to the point where we're starting to produce, right? We still have a little bit of stone on roots here. Yeah, 75 on route. Can produce 113, so doing all right after all. And I think we actually need. Well, we did triple that, so it should be should be better now. He took up a few workers. This guy does now have 15 people. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And they should be coming right here with all of the wares as well. Wait for the train to pass. Oh, that's annoying. I kind of wish they kept walking when they walked past the train station. But I guess that's a little bit too much to ask for. Okay, are we actually producing now? Kind of looks like they are moving stone over there now. Which would be very nice. Production 53, 54 per minute. So we are producing. Very good. Happy to see that. I think that's when we are going to wrap up then. That would mean that we are able to aim for stone bridges in the next episode and start, start building that up. Uh, I don't think we have anything unlocked here, so the next step is literally just to keep transporting stuff. And that should, should fix that. We'll get some churches as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, then click that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe as well. We will continue with this. I think version 1 is less than a month away. There we have our stone bridges as well. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I think we are going to have a lot of... A lot of fun in this game going forward. I know there's a lot of new stuff in the endgame, for example, so looking forward to see that. Also looking forward to see you in the next episode, so until then, bye bye everyone.